The mission of USTAR, the Utah Science, Technology, and Research Initiative, is to accelerate the commercialization of science and technology ideas generated from entrepreneurs, university researchers, and private sector companies. USTAR's programs include competitive grant funding, incubation services, and SBIR assistance. In this video, you will meet one company highlighting how USTAR is impacting Utah's science and technology communities. Enjoy the video. Optisys was founded to design, test, and build the lightest weight microwave antennas for the military and commercial markets. Uh, we found that 3D metal printing created those smallest parts compared to manufacturing, die casting, brazing, any of the other processes available. I have a strong mechanical engineering background, 20 years experience in the military aerospace world. I saw a lot of opportunities to solve real world engineering problems with metal 3D printing. RF structures are big, bulky, heavy things, and I saw the size and accuracy of, that 3D printing could bring, and I said, we can go do RF with this. So 3D printing does very well in high mix, uh, low volume applications. It does very good in solving design for manufacturability problems and taking very complex assemblies and reducing them to a single part. We're smaller, lighter, and cheaper than anything on the market. We see 3D printing radically reducing lead time, simplifying the design development cycle. It takes a long time to detail out and do tolerance studies on multi-part assemblies. When you can simplify things down to a single part or a handful of parts, then you reduce a lot of touch labor. You make it so that if they're more reliable, things work as you intend them. Our markets are anything that's uh, size, weight, and power sensitive, swap sensitive. So uh, aircraft, manned and unmanned aircraft, satellites, man packable, both for military and search and rescue, commercial communications. USTAR provided a technology uh, advancement grant to us to develop SATCOM feeds. We've used that to develop products. It takes a lot of time to work out the bugs on a design. Uh, it takes a long time to figure out the manufacturing process and the design so that we can have a product line that we can start selling commercially. And so the TAP grant through USTAR has been really instrumental in establishing a, an initial product line for our company. So TCIP has been used to capitalize our uh, a supporting firm, Qualified Rapid Products. So uh, Rob's been able to go get larger, bigger printers, more capital equipment, and that in turn has helped uh, Optisys by being able to point to this existing manufacturing base that we can rely on. Instead of having to go outside and find and develop new printers, we can keep it here local. I can see years down the road when younger people who are used to designing for 3D printing that have grown up with FDM printers, they're not going to understand why would you ever want to design something with lots of little parts that all have to fit together when I could just print it as one. To learn more about the programs featured in this video and to see other programs offered by USTAR, please visit ustar.org.